so earlier today we were chatting and you spoke to me about speaking my truth. Can you share that? Yeah, it's, it, you know, it's, it's a confusing mess inside of our heads, right? Like we, it's almost like there's two voices. And if you listen really carefully, you can hear the difference between the two of them. One of them is all about preservation and about safety and about um, uh, survival, right? And so that one is, you know, you'll hear it in, it's constantly judgmental about everything and everybody, uh, including yourself. Uh, and it's, it's actually keeping you really small so that you don't uh, act on anything big and make a fool of yourself and embarrass yourself. It actually will treat, uh, you know, you to, you know, the potential of you embarrassing yourself. Uh, you know, you'll have the same, it will generate the same feeling inside of you as, you, as if you're about to be eaten by a freaking bear. You know, and, uh, uh, and it will generate the same kind of fear. Now that's that's there, and then there is a you that gets you know can observe all of that, and then can see whether what that little voice is saying is in line with what your values are, what your commitments are, what your passions are. And I think when you see that and you start to make sure and you start to edit what comes out of your mouth and make sure that it reflects on your values and your passions and your commitment and your vision, now you're cultivating the freedom for you to be you. And there's no stopping you. And in that, that moment, you are all you'll ever need. You don't need anybody else. You don't need anybody's approval. You just need the it's just a need for you to be you.